Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice Amrali West. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and also leave a like on this video. Be sure to turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any time I upload a video. This is the second half of my wash day routine. So I am just out of the shower. My hair is damp, so I'm going to show you the process. The products that I'll be using throughout is a bottle, spray bottle with some water. These clips as I section my hair. The deep conditioner that I'm using is the Excelsior Coconut Oil Deep Repair Mask. And at the end, I'm going to be using this heat cap. I'm going to be sectioning my hair in six parts because I have six of these, right? So I recommend no more than four sections because you want the product to be distributed to every strand, right? So I just finger part. So this is my first section. I'll be using a whoopee just to hold the rest of my hair. So I'm going to go from the ends of my hair and then I'm going to just work my way up. And as I do this as well, I'm also finger detangling. I spoke about this deep conditioner already and it's a really good deep conditioner. The slip that it gives your hair is amazing. The smell is nice, the consistency is thick. Because for my hair, I don't find my hair to be thick, thick, but it's not thin at the same time. So I need something that is a little bit thick to really get into my hair and moisturize. I'm going to just go on the edges as well just to get those and I really really rub the product into my hair I'm just making a bantu knot just to get the hair out of the way so I'm going to just roll it up twist it around and then clip it down deep conditioning is so important for your hair especially if your hair is natural Deep condition makes your hair more manageable and you know if you're natural you know how much that would help the process but whether you're natural or you're relaxed I recommend deep condition even when I was relaxed I used to deep condition because it's just good for hair to provide a moisture or protein that you may need So I'm going to finish four sections to the back and then I'll be right back. One more thing, so I'm on to my third section here and I usually like to apply my deep conditioner when my hair is a little bit damp. So that's why I have this spray bottle just to spritz my hair if it needs it. Okay, I'll be back. I'm finished with applying the deep conditioner to my hair. So I have six sections. If you look at the directions on the product, it will tell you how long to leave it in your hair for. I leave mine in for no less than half an hour. At the end, I'm going to just put this cap on. Make sure that all of it here is inside the cap. And I'm going to go about my business doing whatever it is that I need to do. Two hours later. Time to wash out my hair now. So I'm going to remove the cap. Carefully remove these clips because they are like metal.
Now I usually just wait like this for like 15 minutes because with the cap it does generate some heat on the scalp. So I just want my hair or my head to air out a little bit before I actually go in to rinse. I'm going to be rinsing with cold water. I go in with the cold water rinse to close the cuticle as well as lock in the moisture. When I go to the supply store to buy deep conditioners, I don't just pick up one just like that, right? I actually read the ingredients. So what I have seen is that there can be a moisturizing deep conditioner and a protein-based deep conditioner. The moisturizing deep conditioner, of course, would be to moisturize your hair. And the protein-based one would be to repair and to strengthen your hair strands, right? So in the top about five for the moisture, deep conditioner, you would want to see these three words. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Glycerin or aloe vera, right? So once you see those probably in the top three, top five, it's a moisturizing deep conditioner. And if you're looking for strengthening and repairing deep conditioner, you will look for the words hydrolyzed protein, amino acids, and keratin or keratin right so those are proteins i also did on this channel a diy protein treatment using eggs so that to me is really extreme if you really want a protein blast if you see that your hair is breaking or whatever i'm going to leave the link to that video in the description box below so you can check that one out so yeah when you're shopping for your deep conditioners you should be informed yeah you're welcome and that brings us to the end of my deep conditioning routine so this is my hair it is damp still but it is manageable soft and it is shiny if you do not deep condition i urge you start to deep condition and you'll notice a big difference in your hair so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video i'll see you all in my next video bye guys